Right, what we're going to look at now is a bit of plain sailing. So, there are three formula for plain sailing. Departure equals d long times cos mean lat. Tan course equals departure divided by d lat. Distance equals d lat divided by cos course. They are the only three formula we're going to use for plain sailing. Now, plain sailing can only be used up to 600 miles. And the concept is quite simple. For us to do any basic trigonometry, and that's all sailing is, just basic right angle triangle stuff, here we have a D lat and a D long. And there we've got a distance, which means that's our course. Okay. The trouble is, D lat is in minutes, which is miles. D long is in minutes, but they are not miles. So what we need to do is find a way for them to be in the same units. And if we put them in miles, that works out quite nicely because then distance is in miles, d lat is in miles. If we can put d long into miles, great. The problem we have is d long changes distance with latitude. At the pole, a degree of d long is a tiny amount. At the equator, a degree of d long is also a degree of distance. So it's one of those things where by the time we change the, the units, rounding errors come in and things like that. And because of the method we're going to use to do it, it's not going to be very accurate. Okay, that's why we go up to 600 miles. Now, the way we do that is departure. Okay, if I had, I'll just sketch it right now. If I have D lat here and departure here, my distance there and of course there, Departure in miles is just the distance between this meridian and this meridian. Okay. In other words, we're just converting the D long into miles. Which is great for parallel sailing. We can just put it straight in and get the miles for east-west distance, and that's the end of it. But it changes for every latitude. So what we do is we get a mean latitude. We know this departure on this latitude. We know what it is on this one. What we can do is say, well, OK, I'll tell you what. Let's work it out for the mean, for the average, for the midpoint. And we'll just call it quits at that. OK, so that's why we use departure, not D1. So we're going to go from, let's make some numbers up, 32 degrees, 29 minutes north, 0, 0, 007 degrees, uh, 17 minutes west, and we're going to go to and 30 degrees, 10 minutes north, 0, 0, 009 degrees, 35 minutes west. From A to B. First thing we do then, work out your D lat, your D long, and your mean lat. Okay, so lat A is 32 degrees, 29 minutes north. Lat B was 30 degrees. 10 minutes north. Difference there, 2 degrees, 19 minutes. D lat, remember, is difference of latitude. So what was the difference between them? If they're the same names, we just subtract the big one from the little one, write down the number, and then we call it in which way we're heading. So draw yourself a sketch. We were heading south and we were heading west. So you were going from A to B. Draw yourself a little sketch to keep it accurate. You're heading south. D lat is south. Times it by 60 to get D lat. Remember, D lat is always in minutes. <coughs> so, your longitude of A was 007 degrees, 17 minutes west. Longitude of B was 009 degrees, 35 minutes west. 9 degrees, 35 minutes, minus 7 degrees, 17 minutes, gives us 2 degrees, 18 minutes. We were heading more west, so we name it west, times it by 60 to get D long. Again, D long is just difference of longitude, so same names, you're both in the Western Hemisphere, you need to work out the difference between them, just do the big one minus the small one, and name it in your direction of travel. So here we were going south, here we were going west. 
if you were changing hemispheres, so north to south, you would add them to get the difference because you'd need to go, say you're going from 10 north to 10 south, you'd have to go 10 degrees down to the equator, then another 10 degrees down to get to where you're going. Similarly, if you're going from 10 east to 10 west, or vice versa, you'd have to go 10 degrees to the Greenwich Meridian and another 10 degrees to where you're going. So different names you add, same names you subtract. If you're on the date line, while we're on that subject, if you were going from 170 west to 170 east, remember, back of the world, this is the date line, Western Hemisphere, think of the Pacific, Japan's on this side, America's on that side. There's two ways of doing it. There's either say, right, okay, the date line's 180, so do 180 minus 70 to get 10, 180 minus 70 to get 10, add the two together and then say, which way am I going? I'm going more west if I was going that way. I've got to go more west to the date line first. The other way to do it is say, okay, east and west, we add them together. So 170 east, 170 west. I was going from west to east, so that gives me 340 degrees. I was going from west to east, so I must have been heading east because I'm going to the east. Then what you do is you do 360 minus it to get 20 degrees and you change the direction to west because you'd have gone 20 degrees there in that direction. But that will all be covered on your proper course. So D long 13.0. Is it? Yep. Right. So now what we need to do is work out our mean latitude. Mean latitude is just average latitude. So what's the average between 32.29 and 30.10? There's a couple of ways to do it. The easiest way is just add the two together, 32.29 plus 30.10, then divide by two. Get 31.19.5. So 32.29 north plus 30 degrees, 10 minutes north, divide by two, and then that will give you 31 degrees, 19.5 minutes north. We're in the Northern Hemisphere both, so that's north. Now, again, if you were crossing the equator, say you were going from 10 degrees north to 20 degrees south, what you do, add the two together, you get 30 divided by two, and then you have to apply it in the direction you're traveling. So you get 15 degrees of difference. So you either go down 15 degrees from north and minus it to get five degrees south, or you take 15 degrees off and go north from 20 south. Either way, you get five degrees south. Okay. Right, now then, departure equals D long, times cos mean last. We're just converting D long into miles here, so we're not using the convention of just one decimal place for distance. What we're going to do is use at least four decimal places. Personally, I like to keep the whole answer on my calculator. So D long was 138 times the cosine of 31 degrees, 19.5 minutes, gives us a departure of 117.8840. 251 if you want to keep going. At least four decimal places is what you really need. Like I say, I personally just keep it on my screen because now what I can do, sorry, I'm going in. Now what I can do is say, okay, time course. And for this, I'm going to use the plane sailing tan course. Make sure you don't use the D long over DMP one. Tan course is departure, which I've just got, divided by D lat. So now what I like to do is press answer, divided by D lat 139. So that gives me a tan course 
write in whichever number you've used though, so the exam I can see it, divided by the lap of 139, that's handy, isn't it? Equals 0 0.84808651. Keep the whole number on, just press shift tan. Don't have to write that number in, you can go straight to the course if you want, but it's just an extra one that you can check if you've uh, got time at the end, it makes it easier. So the course was 40 degrees, 18.0 minutes. Name it based on your D lap, south, name it based on your D long, west, and that's the course we're going to use later down the line. So south and west, we're going to add 180 to that to get 220 degrees, 18.0 minutes, which is 220.3 degrees true. So, distance equals d lat divided by the cosine of the course, cos course, which is going to be 139 divided by the cosine, and we're going to do the 40 degrees 18.0 minutes to keep a good level of accuracy. So, 139, 139 divided by cos. 40 degrees, 18 minutes, was 182 point, and it's 2548, so we're going to round that up to 0.3. Okay, just keep distance to one decimal place. Questions like this one where the level of accuracy is important, if you just rounded that to 117.9, then you would have had a slightly different answer for your course. Not much different, but it would have been, that would have been 18.3. And then if you were doing that, that then would have slightly rounded up again your difference. If you didn't keep that to a suitable level of accuracy, you would have changed your distance quite substantially.